When I started my spiritual work, I started first with um, the work with the angels. And um, when I started, I thought now everything is fine in my life and there are no more problems in my life because now I have the angels. There will be a lot of clients, all the seminars will be full because the angels will do everything for me. But what happened was definitely another thing. So um, nothing happened, there were no clients, there were no full seminars, there were a lot of blocks and a lot of fear and a lot of frustration and anger. Because what I didn't knew is that the angelic world, the angels and God tells us before we can deliver you what you want and before you can improve your life, you have to change your thoughts and you have to solve your blocks. So the first law for improvement in your life is um, that you have to look to your fears and to solve your blocks. Without doing that, nobody, not God or not the angels, can deliver anything for you. And this brings up a moment of um, where everything is standing still in your life. And maybe you know that, that you are in a situation that you have almost enough to live, enough money to live, to pay your rent and uh, to pay your food, but you don't have enough for improve your life. You have a relationship with is good, but it's not what you want, but it's better as no relationship. So this is a balance of nothing um, happens and nothing change. Like in the chess play where the putt situation you have, you do always the same things and nothing happens. And this is the best moment and this is really a sign that a change is necessary. And that's where um, the book Dear Respond Sempre is beginning. It's uh, when um, the person is sitting at the beach and is in a moment of completely standstill. His life is working, he has enough, but he hasn't enough for um, to, for improvements and for other things. And then a person comes in and asks him, what do you want to change? And this person is called Samantha. And um, between our um, main person in the book and Samantha is um, developing a story about the confidence and all the things, how to improve your life and the single steps you have to do. But the good thing and the good news now for you in your life is whenever you see this situation of a standing still everything and you have this what I call a putt situation that every time it's the same, it's not enough but it's enough to live. Though you can say it's enough to live but it's not enough to die and this is completely an unsatisfied situation in your life. This at the moment where you can sit there and say, okay, now I have to change your blocks. Don't go into fear, don't go into victimhood and blaming your, your life, yourself and anybody else about something what is not go running well in your life. The good news is acknowledge and recognize that this is the moment of the biggest challenge and the moment for the biggest change which is now possible. And in this moment, Samantha is coming in and the book, Dio Responde Siempre, and starts to begin to change. But this is only possible if you open your mind and open your heart to change and to accept that this moment of standing still is the moment of change. Thank you. Good luck.